So today I'm talking about what a purge valve is and what it does inside of the EVAP system. And so first of all, what is the EVAP system? Well, the EVAP system basically takes all the gas vapors from the gas tank and then feeds them back into the engine and get burnt off so that they don't escape into the atmosphere. This is for emissions. And the basics of how it works is that the gas vapor is going to leave the gas tank. They're going to go up through a hose. They're going to go to what's called a charcoal canister. And this basically stores the gas vapors when the engine's not running. And then a hose is going to go up to the top of the engine. And at the top of the engine is going to be a purge valve solenoid. And this purge valve basically opens when the engine's running so that all the vapors go in to get burnt off and then it closes when the engine's not running so that they don't escape and that's basically all that purge valve does is it basically just opens and closes when the computer tells it to it mainly stays closed when the engine's off and then at some point when the engine warms up the computer will command it to turn on and it's usually located up inside the engine compartment somewhere it can be located a little differently depending on the vehicle and the engine and things like this sometimes it can even be located on the firewall but it's usually pretty easy to spot you're going to have two hoses going to it. One hose will be going back to the charcoal canister and one hose will be going into the engine. And then you just have a wiring connection and that'll basically be it. So it's usually pretty easy to spot. And so what is the purge valve? Well, it's just a small solenoid that opens when the engine's running so that all the gas vapors can go in to get burnt off. And then it closes when the engine's not running so they don't escape. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of what the purge valve is and what it does inside of an EVAP system. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.